Monday, time to talk tech with our technology expert, Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group. Luis, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Mark. How are you today? You know, getting over a little cold and uh, feeling better, so thank you for asking. We, Excellent. We have a uh, an interesting story to start with today, and that is concerning iPhones. For all iPhone users, soon our iPhones will be able to replicate our voices after only about 15 minutes of training. What's going on here? Yeah, so this is part of Apple's commitment to accessibility tools. You know, this was designed along with a, a bunch of other features to be able to help people that have issues with listening or hearing or even talking be able to use their iPhones and communicate with other folks. So the idea here here is that there are folks whose voices, you know, as they get older, start to fade or, or they have some sort of disability that keeps them from being able to communicate as well as they want to. So with this tool, you're able to record about 15 minutes of your voice and the tool will then be able to mimic your voice as you just type in your responses to your iPhone or your iPad. So in essence, you can have verbal conversations with people where your voice is just being projected by the AI that's built into the iPhone using their new tool called Personal Voice that's soon to be deployed to both iPads and iPhones. So in a way, it's a great tool, but then again, it also points out how easy it is to create those deep fakes that we all worry about because really they're only talking about 15 minutes of you talking to your iPhone and iPad and suddenly it's able to use your voice any way you want to by just typing in information onto the screen. Well, so could this happen like if your iPhone is stolen that someone would be able to figure out what your voice was like and replicate it that way? Theoretically, yeah, that's possible. If you're not using any way to lock your phone down, whether you're you know, using facial recognition or biometrics or even just a simple code, because all of the information, according to Apple, is stored on the phone itself. It's not stored in the cloud. So if somebody gets access to your phone and discovers that you have personal voice installed, then they can literally imitate your voice and call friends and family and even you know your banking contacts or whoever and then engage in conversations without you knowing about it. So it's important that you protect your phone even if you don't use personal voice. Use those biometrics that are really easy to set up on iPhones and iPads. And you might go ahead and disable the personal voice option on your phone. Exactly. If you don't need it, just uninstall them. Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group joining us today on Power Talk Radio online. It's AlvarezTG.com at AlvarezTG. That's the Twitter handle and Luis, the toll-free number for the iTeam. Give us a call at 866-78-ITEAM. That's 866-784-8326.